the sunflowers welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel today I'm going to be reviewing some skincare but before I start I just want to give a huge thank you to style Korean and how how to wonder for sending me these products to try and review for you um also one more thing before I like fully get into the video is that I just wanted to say I've only used these products for a week with that in mind I wasn't exactly looking for like magical results because skincare is definitely a process. Sometimes certain things take some time to actually fully work, but so far I am very happy with the results that I've gotten. That in mind, um, let's get into the video. So the first product that I'm going to be talking to you about is the How to How to Wonder Black Rice Moisture 5.5 Soft Cleansing Gel. Some of the claims for this are that it helps your skin's barrier maintain a healthy pH balance and it also reduces irritation. I have no complaints about this product. I love the fact that it's unscented because I prefer unscented products, especially when it comes to skincare related things. So one thing I also really love about this cleanser is just how it makes my skin feel after I use it. I don't really like it when cleansers strip your face of everything and just leave your face feeling kind of like overly dry and then almost like rubbery. But with this cleanser, I like the fact that once I use it, my face feels very soft and still kind of hydrated. So as it says in the claims that it reduces irritation, I think that that is very true. Because I'm someone who picks at my skin a lot and that is not a good thing to do, but I still sometimes do it. And then I also have those like pimple poppers and stuff and I'll just like sit right next to the mirror and just continue going at it. I've had moments for this week that I've done that and then I would go and wash my face with a cleanser and it really really helped with the redness and irritation like I was just like oh what kind of sorcery another thing that I really like is that although it's like a soft cleansing gel it's kind of like a foam cleanser even though it says that it's a gel once you add in like a little bit of water and then like rub it around it just has like this nice foamy cleanser texture. The next product that I'm going to be trying out is the How to How to Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. The claims for this are that it is light, hydrating, and refreshing. Okay, I really really like this toner. I like the way that I could feel my face pretty much absorb it. It's almost like it's drinking up the product. It is very light as the claims say, um, but I have seen some people say, like for them, this wasn't as hydrating and everything but personally I feel like it was hydrating enough also something I would like to mention because I mentioned earlier that I'm not really the biggest fan of like scented products especially when it comes to skincare although I love this I do feel like I have to say that it does have a light smell of like lavender but that that's fine because lavender is literally one of my favorite scents so that doesn't bother me it's not overpowering but if you were to buy this thinking that it was unscented it is not it does have a little bit of lavender oil but it's not like super in your face so the next product that i'm going to be talking to you about is the how to how to wonder black rice hyaluronic botanical 2gf wonderful ampule and that is a mouthful i had to look at the bottle i couldn't remember that just from the top of my head but let me just tell you, this, I think, is one of my favorite, favorite serums that I've tried so far. Some of the claims are that it is anti-aging, fine line minimizing, which I don't really like have like many fine lines. I would like to consider myself okay for this point in my life. It's also hydrating and it helps your skin's natural collagen production. So out of all the products that I've tried, for this specific line this probably has to be like my favorite i definitely like smoothens down texture and like i've noticed it even more once i applied makeup because you know when you're applying makeup it just kind of enhances your texture for the fine line minimizing part i feel like i did notice a difference because of my smile lines usually they're a lot deeper when i apply makeup or just in general like because my smile lines are just always there. But I feel like this helped. The next product that I'm going to be talking to you about is the How to How to Wonder Black Rice Facial Oil. So the claims for this is that it gives you a healthy glow and it also encourages new cell growth. So 
this is probably one of my favorite facial oils that I've ever tried. And as someone who has had acne for pretty much all my teen years, and then now I'm currently 22 and still do have acne, it definitely did get a lot better over the years. But I've tried a lot of products, especially facial oils. And a lot of the times I had kind of bad experiences with them because they would either clog my pores and cause like really painful acne or they would just dry my skin up. But one thing I really love about this oil is that it is very light. It's like almost like runny and I feel like it absorbs into your skin really beautifully. It takes like for me around like 10 minutes and then I don't have to worry about like messing up my sheets or my pillows with the oil. Um, it's definitely still there, but it's just not going to be a disaster to clean up. Okay, but I just have to mention it as well, that this does have fragrance. This does have an in-your-face type of fragrance. If I did not like this product as much as I do, I probably wouldn't lean towards it because of the fragrance, but it does have this like strong eucalyptus or tea tree oil scent. And I love those two scents, but it's like, kind of strong. I just feel like I have to tell you because I would want to know as well. The last product that I'm going to be talking about is the How to How to Wonder Black Rice Vicugio Eye Cream. So for this, I feel like I'm not the best candidate to give you a full review for this. And my reason is because I just don't really have this problem. like. None of the things that it claims to help are really like areas that I worry about or like consider problem areas. The claims for this is that it reduces fine lines and wrinkles and it brightens up your under eye area and gets rid of dark circles. Now even if I did have dark circles, I don't think that I would be complaining because then I would be living out my Tim Burton dreams. Um, one thing I can say that I really did enjoy and noticed about this product is that um, it makes your under eyes feel very nice. It makes my under eyes feel like if I put a silicone based primer under and then it made it really smooth, but that's just my skin. I really wish that I could have given you a better review on this to like actually be like, oh yeah, I want to try that, but like, I'm just trying to be honest with you. <laughs> but yeah. Um, that was about it. Um, before I end this video, I just wanted to say once more that all of my reviews for this were just fully my reviews. I'm not getting paid for this, I just got sent some products to try and review and I did just that. Thank you so much to Style Korean and How to How to Wonder for sending me these products. I really enjoyed them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment below what other types of videos you would like me to do in the near future. And with that being said, I shall see you all in my next video. Bye!